There is tremendous uncertainty. We believe that there is no plan to be able to save the banking system. The creeping Citigroup nationalization makes us feel what's next, Bank of America, U.S. Bank, Wells Fargo, uh, J.P. Morgan. We also felt that the, uh, the tax increases, look, I, I'm part of the tax increase. I, I, I take it like a man, but there's a lot of people who feel like now suddenly we're going to get penalized for making a lot of money. And the tone deafness. I got here a little handbook. It's called The Great Crash. John Kenneth Galbraith urges people when he wrote this book to pay attention to what the stock market says. It is not a gyration. It is not a poll. As Harold Ford said, it's the real deal. What do you make of uh, Jim Cramer's criticism that the White House is essentially tone deaf right now? I think it's uh, shovel ready nonsense. Um, uh, look, uh, I'm always out here talking about Econ 101. Let's talk a little philosophy uh, 101. Occam's razor. This is the principle that the simplest, most straightforward explanation is usually the right one. You know, newsflash, we are in a recession that is deep and protracted, and it's not just here, it's global. And it's a recession that is amplified by a credit market uh, 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 freeze. This is precisely well, the kind of climate wherein we see stock markets turn bare. That's what's happening. That was here when we got here. Our agenda is to attack these problems.